Hey, Loco sports fans and WHHI viewers. We had a busy slate of high school football games in week five across the low country, and it's Monday, so let's get to Loco Lights on WHHI. We started off in Beaufort, where the Eagles were flying high on offense all night long. Samari Barnes going deep for Colton Ferries. The App State commit with the touchdown grab, and Bobcats can throw it too. Jalen Linder hauls in the long bomb from Max von Hoden-Stratton. Looked like it might be a shootout early, but then it was Casey Fields' time. You remember him from his stellar performance on WHHI last week against May River. Well, he did a little bit more this time. This is one of his five touchdown runs on the day, and uh, just for good measure, Casey did it one more time. Splits the big gap created by that monster offensive line and goes all the way to the house. 341 rushing yards and 5 TDs for Casey Fields. It was a new day at Battery Creek and they were trying to turn things around as they opened their renovated stadium against rival Whale Branch. And things going fairly well for the Warriors early when running back Mason Griffin goes down with a knee injury and did not return. Battery Creek's defense was feasting on the backups. The Dolphins played nasty on D all night, and then they got that ground game going with Damian Freeman and Jeremiah McEachin. Dynamic duo doing damage. They both went over 85 yards and found the end zone. In fact, McEachin found it twice. Meach gets to the outside and finishes off the touchdown after Ty Mitchell's interception set things up, and Battery Creek Partying at home, that new digs looking good on Friday night. Over on Ladies Island, Hilton Head Christian Academy trying to knock off undefeated Buford Academy and Dylan Clark's the new QB at HHCA and he's a gunslinger. Going deep for Morgan Biedenbaugh who gets it inside the pylon for the touchdown and Clark finds a dashing gauge that a Loken and that cat can scoot puts on the moves a little juke move to find the end zone HHCA down 20 to 14 at halftime but the opening kickoff changes everything Chaz Brigstock takes it at the nine finds a seam hits the hole gets a block makes a man miss and he's gonna go all the way to the house HHCA with the big rally Coming back with 29 points in the second half. And Dylan Clark had a couple touchdown runs late to seal it. But check out these moves. Gunslinger going deep. Harrison Arnhold on the other end. Touchdown HHCA. They win it 43-34. It was homecoming in the tank. Everybody fired up at May River as they take on Kane Bay. But uh, not a lot of things to cheer on the field for the Sharks in this one as the Cane Bay defense keeps May River off the board all night long. Feeling a little blue at halftime. Defense played good enough to keep May River in it, especially those linebackers, and they blocked a couple of kicks, but no offense for the Sharks on this night as Cane Bay wins it 21 to nothing. And we pay a visit to John Paul II. These guys have been putting up big numbers on offense all season long. And Christian Tilton doing Christian Tilton things, dancing along the sideline to get into the end zone. JP2 trying to hang with a explosive Florence Christian offense, but the Huntley brothers a little bit too much for the Golden Warriors this night as Florence Christian comes in and slams it up the middle with the wishbone all night long. JP2 can't stop it, and the Eagles get out of Hardyville with a 35-16 win. Well, that does it for Loco Lights, and that does it for Week 5 in the Loco. With Hurricane Ian on the way, Week 6 starts Wednesday. So get ready. Kickoff is coming. Until then, go Loco.